If you're the observant sort of shopper who wants to get the most out of every dime, it's possible you've noticed that Costco's fully cooked three-pound rotisserie chickens are actually cheaper than their uncooked ones. They're also among the cheapest rotisserie chickens around, making this a deal that seems too good to be true. So, you got money? Not a penny. I'll still take that chicken. In fact, the chicken is so cheap, it doesn't seem like Costco could even make money selling them. And yet, Costco continues to sell them for $4.99, while their competitors have raised prices. So what's going on here? To get the answer, first we have to jump in the Wayback Machine for a look at the avian flu crisis of 2015, which threatened the entire U.S. poultry industry. With countless birds lost, Barclays analyst Meredith Adler asked Costco's chief financial officer Richard Galanti if this would finally result in the company raising prices. He said, I can only tell you what history has shown us. When others were raising their chicken prices from $4.99 to $5.99, we were willing to eat, if you will, $30 to $40 million a year in gross margin by keeping it at $4.99. That's what we do for a living. Why would Costco leave tens of millions of dollars in potential profits on the table if they could sell the chicken for more? Because they think they can make even more money by selling chicken cheaper. Costco first began selling their $4.99 chicken in 2009, and it was an instant hit. Just a year later, Costco sold 51 million rotisserie chickens, and by 2017, that number was up to $87 million. That's a lot of customers coming through the door looking for chicken, which is why Costco keeps their chickens all the way in the back of the store. Many other chains use the same strategy of luring customers into their stores with cheap, delicious chicken. Don Fitzgerald, vice president of merchandising at the Kroger-owned Mariano's, told the Wall Street Journal that it's all about getting people in the door, and then pouncing with high-profit margin add-ons. If they get a chicken, a salad, and maybe they pick up a bottle of wine, now we're really talking. While Costco isn't the only player in the rotisserie chicken game, they're taking steps to go above and beyond their competition. Since they started selling, they've invested in larger, high-efficiency ovens and containers made with less plastic, both of which help keep their costs down. And in 2018, the Seattle Times reported Costco was investing hundreds of millions of dollars in a massive chicken farm located in eastern Nebraska. The centrally located state was chosen in part because of the large corn and soybean production there, which will save Costco on feed costs. That's important because they're going to have a lot of chickens to feed, an estimated 100 million a year. The only downside, of course, is a less personalized chicken experience than you might get from a boutique dealer. The chicken you'll be oh, enjoying yes. tonight. You have this information. This is fantastic. Absolutely. Uh, his name was Colin. And there are other plans in the works, too. They're in talks to raise hundreds more chicken barns. And while it's a hefty initial investment, it's going to help keep their costs low in the future. Of course, none of that explains why Costco's uncooked chickens are actually more expensive than their cooked chickens, which seems backwards. After all, they're doing all the work so you don't have to. What are we supposed to do with that? Eat it. Eat it. F is alive. But time money suggests there may be a sneaky reason for this, too. Cooked chickens are going to go bad faster, and they want to keep them at a price point that'll make sure they're continuously going out the door. They definitely do at that price. It's also worth noting that rotisserie chickens aren't the only products Costco has said they'll keep at these insanely super low prices. According to Time, Costco's jumbo hot dog and drink deal has been priced at $150 since the mid-1980s. It's all about increasing foot traffic, and that's been particularly challenging for stores like Costco, which generally aren't located in super convenient areas where people people might pop in regularly to see what's on the shelves. People need a reason to make their trek to Costco. And what's a better reason than a quick and tasty low-cost dinner that's ready to serve? And besides, passing up the chicken might make them angry. And you don't really want to get the rotisserie chicken angry, do you? I don't know, I think they're kind of cute. I mean, this one just walked right up to me. Sheet cakes, muffins, and cookies, oh my! We're ranking Costco's popular bakery items from worst to best. The Monte Cotta Muffin is a Mexican sweetbread bakery classic that contains eggs, flour, butter, and sugar, with the butter truly setting it apart. Even though it's at the bottom of our list, it's still popular for a reason. We love a good buttery muffin, but Costco's version contains additional ingredients that preserve it longer but don't add to the taste. Furthermore, it contains 610 calories, 38 grams of fat, 550 milligrams of sodium, and 33 grams of sugar per serving. While these muffins are fairly tasty, we recommend buying Mantecada muffins from an authentic Mexican bakery instead. The plain bagel is a basic but delicious breakfast delicacy. Due to its simple nature, we suggest adding a spread like cream cheese to make a meal out of this. 
Generally, it's only worth shopping for bagels at Costco only when you need them in bulk or don't want to make two stops when grocery shopping. After all, nothing compares to getting a bagel breakfast sandwich from your local bagel shop. If you do your shopping in bulk or less frequently and like to have bagels on hand, you can throw these in the freezer, toast them when ready, and add some extra cream cheese. Otherwise, aim higher when it's bagel time. What's braided, flaky, and contains apple cinnamon all over? That's right, it's Costco's Braided Apple Strudel. This large pastry comes in a pack of eight and tastes best after a few minutes in the microwave or air fryer for a little bit of an extra crispy crunch. It's so sweet you might mistake it for a slice of apple pie. One Costco lover on Instagram tracked down an incredible deal of eight strudels for only $7.99. For that price, you should consider adding this pastry to your Thanksgiving dessert table. This sweet treat really hits the spot during the fall season. Feel free to go wild and add some vanilla ice cream and caramel sauce on top. That means it comes with ice cream. Okay, I'm um, ready. If it's dinner time and you're heading to Costco and you're looking to grab one staple dipping mechanism that can fit most Italian meals, you can't go wrong with a bakery baguette. Costco nails the crispy outside and soft inside we know and love in a baguette. But you could also make some yourself at home, and the simplicity of baking baguettes is one reason why we didn't rank this higher. Two slices of the Costco baguette yield 150 calories, so you can eat a decent amount of bread with your next pasta dish. If you need a baguette when you find yourself at Costco, don't hesitate to grab one, but you might want to opt for your local bakery instead when you can. 60 mini chocolate chip cookies are certainly better than one. Costco's mini chocolate chip cookies are delightfully crispy, sweet, and salty, and they're also small enough that you can grab a handful or two without feeling guilty. These treats stand out from other chocolate chip cookies because they're not only small but also crispy and not overly sweet. They're also not as dry as you'd expect a hard cookie to be and can still melt in your mouth. So don't be surprised if you start sprouting blue fur and constantly say nom nom nom. Cookie! 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 The deliciously sweet cinnamon pull-apart resembles a cream cheese-covered pie, but it's actually basically a giant cinnamon roll, and that's perfectly fine with us. The announcement of this treat sent the Costco Buys Instagram into a roar, as one fan exclaimed in the comments after buying two containers in one week, OMG, I have to unfollow this page. If that unbridled enthusiasm doesn't already tell you everything you need to know, just take our word for it. The cinnamon pull-apart tastes sweet but not too rich, making it the perfect dessert for any occasion. We recommend serving it warm with coffee for breakfast or as a mid-afternoon treat with a cup of tea. Whatever you prefer, we can guarantee this sweet treat should be added to your cart on your next Costco run. If we had to name one thing more delicious than the mini chocolate chip cookies, it would be the Costco cookie assortment. Three options are better than one, after all. This particular assortment contains eight chocolate chunks, eight double nuts, and eight oatmeal cookies. The chocolate chunk is our favorite, but all of these cookies hold a special place in our hearts. Costco offers multiple variations of its assorted cookie pack, but we enjoy this variety the most. The store bakes its cookies perfectly, with a slight crunch on the outside and a soft, chewy inner center. They taste best warmed up with a scoop of vanilla ice cream. And here's a pro tip, take two cookies of any kind and smash a scoop of ice cream between them to make at-home chip witches. Don't sleep on Costco's cheat cakes. If you're planning a birthday party, a wedding, or any other special occasion that demands cake, here are a few things you should know. Costco sheet cakes won't break the bank like most bakery items at the store. While you can no longer order a half sheet cake online, the Costco bakery will still make you one if you order it in person. And with a cost of around $20 for a cake that can feed 50 people, that's a steal when you analyze the competition. Specialty wedding cakes can lead to a lot of mistakes these days and cost a small fortune, so opting for Costco instead can spare you a lot of stress. <laughs> Touchdown, yeah! The best part about purchasing a sheet cake from Costco is the availability. The bakery section stocks chocolate and vanilla cakes for different occasions, and you can take home the same day as ordering. If you want something specific, you'll have to order in advance, but Costco will still deliver. When you think of pastries, cheese and cherry probably isn't the first flavor combination that comes to mind, but after a few bites of Costco's cherry and cream cheese pastry, it'll be your new favorite bakery item. It's super soft, creamy, and not overly sweet. We love cheese pastries in general, and this one especially hits the spot with the added fruit flavoring. These are basically the best parts of a cheese board combined into one delicious pastry – bread, cherry jam, and cheese. We recommend buying these for a morning brunch with a cup of coffee. If you're looking for a new pastry that offers a bit of both savoriness and sweetness, add the cheese and cherry pastry to your cart during your next Costco trip.
Next up, we have the decadent delicacy known as the Tuxedo Chocolate Mousse Cake. This chocolate and white chocolate delight contains brownie chunks and chocolate ganache topped with even more chocolate. Simply put, it's a chocoholic's dream, and somehow that rich chocolate flavor doesn't overpower the other ingredients. This cake is so popular that you can find entire Reddit threads dedicated to customers' love for it. It's wonderfully smooth and not the usual Costco size, but instead perfect for a party of 10. Sometimes we prefer to opt for regular servings as opposed to family-sized. This mousse cake may not be at the very top of our list, but it's close enough for us to declare that we absolutely love it. And ultimately, it's for the best that it doesn't come in family size because we'd struggle to stop after one serving, and we imagine you'll feel the same way after you try it. Oh, Pumpkin pie is a staple on the Thanksgiving dessert table, and we can't get enough of Costco's version. It's sweet, it contains the perfect amount of pumpkin, and it can feed the whole table. A full Thanksgiving meal can be expensive, but Costco comes through with an incredibly affordable dessert. And dare we say, it tastes even better than the homemade version. Besides, making pumpkin pie from scratch can take a ton of time and ingredients. As reported by Reader's Digest, Costco sold 6.1 million pies in 2019 alone. Thankfully, the chain is always ready for this influx of sales and stocks their shelves accordingly in November. A good idea might be hitting the store early and then freezing the pie to save it for the big day. Obviously, Costco sells a wide variety of baked goods, and they go hard on the dairy with a mighty fine cheesecake. The best variety to buy is quite possibly the Kirkland Signature with organic strawberry spread on top, as the flavors complement each other nicely. We can't get enough of this or the New York cheesecake. If guests are joining you for dinner, head to Costco to pick up a couple of these cheesecakes and just wait for the compliments to roll in. Costco's cheesecakes align with their affordable price style. You can purchase a 4.5-pound Kirkland Signature Costco cheesecake for $16.99, much lower than other typical grocery stores or bakeries. Cheesecake is challenging to make, and other than the Cheesecake Factory, few establishments craft the perfect crispy crust and sweet cream cheese-like filling. While Costco may not offer the variety of cheesecakes that the Cheesecake Factory is known for, they still manage to knock it out of the park with their different sizes and affordability. If you've ever been to a kid's birthday party or just indulged your sweet tooth on your own, you've undoubtedly had a cupcake at some point. Happy birthday. Thanks, but I already ate it last night. But have you ever tried a Costco mini cake? Cupcakes and mini cakes might sound like synonyms, but we can assure you that they share only a few similarities. Upon entering the Costco bakery section, you'll be welcomed by a half dozen chocolate mini cakes in their clamshell packages. Despite the name, these cakes are rather significant in size. They may be miniature compared to a full size cake, but they're definitely larger than a standard cupcake. These treats are pretty much perfect for everyday dinners and birthdays alike. They'll elicit oohs and ahs when delivered to the table, and they undoubtedly taste incredible. The only thing that would make them even better is the option to order a dozen of them. Clearly, we can't get enough of these mini cakes, and we bet you won't be able to either. Croissants are usually going to taste best at a Parisian cafe, but Costco is your next best option if you can't make it all the way to France. Made fresh daily, these bakery buttery pastries come in a pack of 12, offering that traditional flaky outside and melt-in-your-mouth interior. A pack of croissants from the Costco bakery section costs only $5.99, which, like most things in the massive store, is a pretty good deal. These sweet buttery cones can be enjoyed as is, or stuffed with butter or jam, or used to elevate tuna or chicken salad into a fantastic sandwich. One Costco customer on Reddit showcased their love for this crescent-shaped treat in the form of a mouth-watering egg and bacon sandwich made with the pastry. No matter how you enjoy this delicious bakery item, it's worth picking up a few boxes during your next trip to Costco. We love blueberry muffins, so it takes a lot to impress us in the world of fruity pastries, but Costco pulls it off with their crispy on the outside and soft on the inside creations. No exaggeration, these will genuinely take your breath away. And we're not the only ones who are impressed. A 2021 Insider article ranking every muffin flavor at Costco placed blueberry at number one, noting its sweet balance and dense texture without feeling too heavy like a pound cake. The muffin top packs the right amount of moisture to break it off and enjoy it piece by piece. Costco sells a dozen of their fresh-baked muffins for $8.99, which is quite the steal for 12 plump pastries. We recommend enjoying them a few days after purchasing or freezing and reheating them later for that same fresh taste. So next time you're browsing the bakery section in need of the perfect breakfast edition, go right ahead and grab a pack of blueberry muffins. We guarantee you won't be disappointed. I guarantee it. 
Although not everything at Costco is worth buying, there are dozens of food items that you should consume at least once in your life. By the time you finish trying all these items, don't be shocked if you end up visiting Costco on a daily basis. Not only does Costco have the best rotisserie chicken you can find anywhere, it's so tasty and such a good deal that everyone deserves to try it at least once in their life. Costco actually loses money on each rotisserie chicken they sell. Why do they insist on keeping the price steady at $4.99? Costco knows that once you try their chicken, you'll come back again and again for another yummy bird, and everyone knows you can't just buy one thing when you enter a Costco. It's a smart business move on their part, but it's also a delicious deal for you and anyone else who wants to help you eat the chicken. When doing a mental search for where you can get a healthy snack on the go, you probably don't think of Costco, but you should, as their acai bowls are an affordable and delectable scoop of goodness. These plant-based and vegan bowls contain strawberries, blueberries, banana chips, granola, and an acai mix. The granola has cane sugar in it, which makes the acai bowl a sweet treat you can scarf down for breakfast or at any point in the day when you want to reward yourself without blowing your diet. And the acai mix comes out of Costco's soft serve machine, so it's pretty easy to trick yourself into thinking you're eating something indulgent. Is there a better taste in the world than a perfectly cooked piece of bacon? Well, as long as you're in my house, you'll do what I do and believe what I believe. So butter your bacon. Yes, father. At Costco, their Kirkland Signature Bacon is to die for. It's meaty, yet has a tasty amount of fat on each piece. To kick things up a notch, the bacon has a memorable smoke flavoring. When you head to Costco, it should definitely make your list of things to buy. Even though it can be argued that Elvis Presley was sent to an early grave thanks to his famous bacon, banana, and peanut butter sandwiches, if he were to rise from his grave one day, he might proclaim that the bacon made it worth it. It's difficult to find good, creamy almond butter. Not only does Costco deliver just that, it's even organic. Kirkland's signature organic, creamy almond butter is an amazing amount of bang for your buck. Even if you believe that peanut butter is your favorite type of nut butter, one mouthful of this stuff will likely change your mind. It has a perfect texture and is easy to spread. Tip: Put this almond butter in your next protein smoothie and you'll be in love. At least one time while you're still in the land of the living, you should order the Kirkland Signature Whole Wheel Parmigiano Reggiano. The 72-pound monstrosity of some of the best cheese found on planet Earth can be yours for a little less than a thousand bucks. Costco imports it directly from Italy after it has been aged for at least 24 months while under the care of expert old-world cheesemakers. You might get tired of cheese while you whittle down the 72-pound wheel, but it's an experience you'll always remember. As long as you have your credit card out and you're ready to spend the big bucks, consider adding D'Artagnan Spanish Mangalitza Dry Cured Ham to your basket. Costco will sell you 9.25 pounds of this glorious ham for a cool $500. It's crafted by fourth-generation virtuosos from Spain who know a thing or two about making some of the best ham in the world. All you need to do once you get your hands on it is slice it thin and be thankful that you got to taste this meat before you died. Once you try Kirkland's signature organic pure maple syrup, you'll never go back to regular pancake syrup again. While most pancake syrup pretends to be maple syrup but is actually just corn syrup mixed with maple flavoring, Kirkland's signature organic pure maple syrup is 100% real maple syrup. You couldn't find better tasting syrup short of going to Canada and sucking maple sap directly out of a maple tree. Save yourself the airfare and the embarrassment and go to Costco to change you and your pancakes' lives forever. For more than 35 years, Costco has been selling their hot dog and soda combo for $1.50. Despite just about everything else getting more expensive since then, Costco has held tight on that price. These days, you'd be hard-pressed to find a deal better than $1.50 for a quarter-pound hot dog and 20 ounces of soda. Not only will this combo fill you up, the flavorful hot dog will surprise you with its tastiness. While these dogs are no longer Hebrew national, they're still incredibly scrumptious. While you'll need to do some of the legwork before the take-and-bake Kirkland Signature Chicken Pot Pie hits your stomach, it'll be well worth the effort of firing up your oven when you get home. And by your final bite, you'll wonder why you hadn't tried this pie sooner. The Kirkland Signature Chicken Pot Pie is covered by pie dough from Costco's bakery and filled with all-white meat, carrots, and peas. Everyone who is lucky enough to get a slice will love it, from adults to kids. Some oatmeal raisin cookies are dried out and crumble before they reach your lips. Other oatmeal raisin cookies are soft, chewy, and packed with flavor. Costco Bakery oatmeal raisin cookies are the latter. What will send these cookies to your life's highlight reel are the big, plump, juicy raisins. It's safe to say the raisins aren't an afterthought in these cookies. In fact, they play the leading role and they're the star of the show. Additionally, Costco has mastered the necessary texture of the oatmeal and the fact that all good oatmeal raisin cookies need a little bit of saltiness to them. 
Costco is your destination if you're looking for raw organic honey that will add the perfect amount of sweetness to your hectic and dreary weekdays. This honey, which originates in Brazil, manages to be flavorful but not overly sweet and doesn't have the artificial taste that ruins many brands of honey. Short of tapping a beehive in your backyard, you're not going to find fresher tasting honey. Start your day with a slice of toast coated with Kirkland Signature Organic Raw Honey and you'll be able to tackle even the gloomiest of days. If your sweet tooth is begging for pleasure and you only have change in your pocket, head to Costco for a churro. The churros at the food court are hot, fresh, and only cost a dollar. All Costco does is take some dough, fry it up, and sprinkle on some sugar and cinnamon. The result is a surprisingly long, soft, flavorful churro that will totally satisfy your sweet tooth. Do you want even more excitement? Ask the friendly Costco employee for chocolate sauce to dip your churro in. Typical beef jerky can be more of a chore to eat than it's worth. Step into the modern age by purchasing a bag of Kirkland Signature Premium Extra Thick Steak Strips. This jerky is thick, soft, and will leave you completely satisfied. The deep smoke flavoring will make it impossible to eat just one strip, although that isn't a bad thing since this jerky is 98% fat-free and totally gluten-free. Pretzels and peanut butter are an awesome combination. When it comes to the Kirkland Signature peanut butter-filled pretzel nuggets, the name tells you exactly what to expect. Each nugget is made with a salted pretzel and is filled with a generous amount of yummy peanut butter. They are perfect to take to a party or to mindlessly eat from the large container at home as you wind down your day. If you have an extra $1,000 and you want to taste a life-changing food before you die, you can order a 6-pound Japanese Wagyu tenderloin roast from Costco. Imported from Japan, you'll soon find out why many experts agree that the tastiest beef in the world comes from Japanese farms. The Japanese Wagyu tenderloin roast melts on your tongue like it's warm butter. Spend the money to order it from Costco and your mind will be irreparably blown. The Kirkland Signature Artisan Rolls are a heavenly delight that are sure to make your dinner a success. These things are basically soft ciabatta rolls that are cut in half and ready for you to munch on. While good right out of the package, if you want to take it to the next level, toss these bad boys on a grill, then fill them with all your favorite ingredients for the perfect sandwich. Once the Kirkland Signature Artisan Rolls are slightly toasted, their flavor is enhanced and the texture will make each bite a party. The Costco Bakery Blueberry Muffins are big and beautiful like muffins are supposed to be. The blueberries are large and completely in charge of the flavor. Each muffin has an ample amount of blueberries for each bite to feature at least one berry. The muffins are baked to a golden brown but are moist and buttery inside. If you want to taste these goodies at their best, heat them up and then slather them with butter or jam. That said, these muffins are still joyous right out of the package. Pizza is serious business for Costco. In fact, if you consider Costco a pizza chain due to all the pizza they sell, it'd be the 15th largest chain in the country. The pizza here is made super fast, but they don't make shortcuts when it comes to taste. What makes Costco's pizza taste even better is the appetizing price tag. By the slice, it's $1.99. By the pie, it's $9.99. Either deal will make your bank account smile. While Costco doesn't offer a wide variety of pizza toppings, it's basically either cheese pepperoni or a combo with mushrooms, sausage, pepperoni, olives, bell peppers, and onions, the freshness and the fact that it's so cheap could make this your new favorite pizza chain after you give it a try. You have to be brave to order your first chicken bake at Costco because it doesn't look like a culinary delight, but once you have it in your hands, your bravery will pay immediate dividends. It tastes so much better than it looks that you may be left in a state of shock. A chicken bake is made with pizza dough, chicken breast, mozzarella cheese, and bits of bacon. But before it is pinched into a tube and put in the oven, the inside and the outside of the chicken bake is brushed with a creamy Caesar dressing. Yum! Even if the heavenly gates are calling your name, hold on a couple more days so you can try the Plaza Ocetra Kilo Caviar Pack from Costco. While you'll need $1,300 to get your tiny spoon on this caviar, you'll believe it was a small price to pay once you revel in its majesty. The Plaza Ocetra Kilo Caviar Pack comes with Russian sturgeon caviar from Bulgaria that is considered some of the best of the best. Throw a party and enjoy this caviar with your friends because you'll get enough to feed up to 50 people. When it comes to healthy snacks, it doesn't get much healthier than the Kirkland Signature Organic Roasted Seaweed Snack available at Costco. Coming straight from Korea, the seaweed snack has a sesame flavor that is insanely addicting. But even if you eat way too much, you'll be happy to learn that each serving only has 20 calories. If you believe seaweed is disgusting and not something humans should be eating, you'd be wise to give this Costco snack a try to have your mind changed. 
If you enjoy tins of assorted European cookies, the Kirkland Signature European Cookies with Belgian Chocolate is something you should go buy at Costco before doing anything else. The assortment includes outstanding choices, most made with Belgian milk chocolate. Start with the hazelnut cream cookie. The hazelnut and chocolate form a powerful duo you won't soon forget. These tins of cookies make great gifts, but you'll have a hard time parting with them. While this giant plastic container of Kirkland Signature Milk Chocolate Raisins may be a danger to your diet, you won't regret your purchase from Costco. Once you have more than three pounds of milk chocolate raisins at your disposal, you'll feel like you're enjoying little bites of heaven. The raisins are bigger than you'd expect, while the milk chocolate will melt in your mouth as you enjoy every bite. The labels might read Kirkland, but the companies behind Costco's name brand might be even more well-known. Here's who makes your favorite Costco products. Why would Starbucks, the world's best-selling fast food coffee chain in 2021, willingly subsidize several of Costco's generic bags of whole bean coffee, including the Kirkland Signature House Blend Medium Roast? We're not entirely sure. It's not as though Starbucks-branded products aren't available at Costco or sold right alongside the cheaper Kirkland Signature products. Then again, perhaps it simply comes down to the idea that any potential profit outweighs the complete absence of sales. After all, it seems fair to assume Costco could provide a Kirkland coffee product if Starbucks didn't assist in its production. And since the coffee conglomerate can almost certainly afford the additional manufacturing costs of producing the Kirkland brand coffee, it's actually fairly obvious how selling both Kirkland and its own products at Costco is advantageous to its own singular offering. You know, this is, excuse me, a damn fine cup of coffee. As Green Mountain told Reuters in 2012, the decision to partner with Costco on the production of two of its generic Kirkland brand K-Cups, like the 120-count breakfast blend K-Cup box, was driven by a desire to create more options for value-oriented consumers. But facing an increasingly crowded K-Cup market at the time, the need to help its own bottom line clearly played a factor as well. Since the coffee company found its stock shares boosted by 9% in the immediate aftermath of the announced deal with Costco, it's no wonder the partnership continues more than a decade later. Some may choose whole bean brewed coffee, but if you love K-Cups, save yourself some cash with the Kirkland brand. The general origins of an alcoholic beverage, or the type of liquor used therein, may not matter if your only mission is getting drunk. Of course, if your main concern is obtaining a cheap drink, consider Costco. After all, Many Kirkland brand liquors offer the chance to imbibe severely discounted alcohol, all while obtaining a surprisingly top-shelf product in the process. This includes Kirkland Signature Blended Scotch, which is actually made and bottled by the distillery Alexander Murray & Co. Now, unless you're hip to each of the more than 140 scotch distilleries in operation in 2023, you may not realize the caliber of scotch produced by Alexander Murray. Named for the uncle of founder Stephen Lipp, Alexander Murray & Co. has been the source of Kirkland Signature Scotch since 2007, and after more than 15 years, it seems unlikely the collaboration will end anytime soon. Of all the generic food items we've purchased and sampled through the years, the most consistently decent product across the board was canned tuna. In that sense, we wouldn't expect anything less than excellence when it comes to Kirkland's signature tuna products. And that was before we learned Kirkland's solid white albacore canned tuna is made by Bumblebee Seafoods. Now, while the general rule of thumb dictates that any Kirkland signature product will be cheaper than its name brand counterpart, that hasn't always been the case when it comes to solid white albacore canned tuna. In fact, in 2003, Bumblebee Solid White Albacore Canned Tuna somehow cost nine cents less per can than Kirkland Signature. As you've likely noticed, a fairly wide variety of Kirkland brand products across the food and drink spectrum are made by top-notch companies. But few food or beverage categories are more stellar in more ways than Kirkland Signature alcohol products. This includes Kirkland brand tequila, which isn't made in some random Costco warehouse. Rather, it's made by the Tessistan, Mexico-based corporate distillery, Santa Lucia. While Costco isn't ostensibly forthcoming with its tequila's places of origin, it's actually fairly simple to determine where any Mexican-made tequila came from. After all, as dictated by the Mexican government, each and every bottle of tequila must feature a NOM, a four-digit ID code that alerts consumers which distillery produced the liquor in question. 
We can't say we always comprehend the logic behind certain companies agreeing to manufacture Kirkland Signature products. Additionally, since we clearly aren't privy to the structure of these corporate deals, or precisely how Costco makes it financially worthwhile, it's likely more profitable than we're imagining. In other words, it shouldn't take a financial wizard to understand why Blommer Chocolate Company has provided the chocolate for certain Kirkland Signature products since at least 2013. Now, we can't say with complete certainty which Kirkland Signature chocolate products are made with or feature Blommer Chocolate, but based on the October 2013 edition of the Costco Connection newsletter, it seems Blommer is the likely chocolate found in Kirkland chocolate-covered almonds, chocolate-covered raisins, and macadamia clusters, among others. More than anything, Blommer's commitment to impeccable quality and customer satisfaction seems to make it a perfect match for Costco's Kirkland brand. Of course, being a rich, decadent chocolate doesn't hurt its cause either. I want it. Come on, give me it. Give me it. Give me it. Come on, give me it. Now, we do have to wonder whether there's ever a need to purchase or eat jelly beans outside of the brief Easter time window each spring. Frankly, even during that different each year holiday season, it's tough to justify spending our hard earned pay on what we've generally found to be a lackluster candy. Hot takes aside, if there's one food group that calls for the premium name brand option in almost every situation, it's candy. So if you're determined to obtain a jar of Jelly Belly Jelly Beans, but want to pay generic level prices, take a trip to Costco. It can be tricky purchasing generic meat, particularly depending on the store. Of course, while some chains have a plethora of skippable generic items, Costco doesn't offer many subpar products in any capacity. That includes their farm-raised frozen shrimp, though that may be, in part, because it's produced by Cater Exports. Actually, considering the verifying source for this name-brand masquerading behind Kirkland product is an FDA recall notice from August 2020, perhaps we should be a bit more cautious the next time we purchase a bag of generic frozen shrimp from Costco. Then again, while the salmonella risk is unquestionably cause for alarm, it's a fairly standard food-based concern, and it doesn't seem like anyone became ill, mildly or otherwise, as a result of the potentially contaminated products. So we feel fairly at ease about the general safety of Kirkland's farm-raised frozen shrimp products, and perhaps you should too. Sometimes we're wholly uninterested in purchasing the name brand version of a product, Mainly, those items where the difference between brands tend to be negligible, and the rationale for paying a premium is entirely moot. Take food service, or aluminum foil. In our experience, no kitchen item better encapsulates the idea of all brands are equal, like food service foil. So, if there's an avenue to obtain the so-called superior, at least in name, version of a product, we're immensely appreciative, as in the case of Kirkland Signature Reynolds Food Service Foil, which is made by, you guessed it, Reynolds Brands. In fact, you may already be aware, and take advantage, of the generic Kirkland price for this Reynolds-made product. But if you've been paying an extra couple bucks to get yourself Reynolds Brands foil through the years, do yourself a favor. Reach for the Kirkland Signature Reynolds Food Service Foil. Your wallet will thank you for the switch. In some ways, we'd have to imagine a non-US-based company has more incentive to partner with Costco and slightly produce a Kirkland brand product than a domestic one might. After all, the logistical challenges of exporting foods into the US are daunting enough on their own. Any opportunity to ease the transition into American markets, then, may be welcomed with open arms. In that vein, it's no surprise the France-based Isigny Saint-Mer produces Kirkland signature imported French Brie for Costco. With more than 120 million members worldwide, there's no shortage of potential new and recurring customers for a Signy saint mer to obtain through its Kirkland Signature production. Additionally, the fact the French Dairy Cooperative doesn't have to compromise on any brand credit when its brie is sold under the Kirkland name only further illustrates the appeal. The company's logo is square in the middle of every circular package, after all. As for consumers, you never know when you'll be able to indulge in the unparalleled creaminess of brie cheese let alone an authentically imported variety. So we can't deny it's nice having Kirkland's imported brie as a standard, affordable option to turn to. 
Not unlike our initial confusion surrounding Starbucks' decision to partner with Costco, it wasn't quite clear why Ocean Spray would want to supply the wholesale store's line of generic cranberry juice. But in all honesty, one look at the Kirkland Signature Ocean Spray Cranberry Juice label seems to tell the entire story. After all, while the Kirkland Signature logo is plainly visible on the bottle along the top edge, by and large, the overall design of Costco's generic brand is eerily reminiscent of a regular old bottle of Ocean Spray. Still, it doesn't really matter whether the Kirkland brand cranberry juice design is too similar to the original name brand, because if Ocean Spray, Costco, and its consumers are happy, then who are we to make a fuss? Who actually makes Kirkland wine is a question many consumers have found themselves asking through the years. Of course, while some speculation is bound to lead nowhere, other hunches are right on point. This includes the presumptive origin of Kirkland signature Marlboro Sauvignon Blanc, which, according to Reverse Wine Snob, is produced by the New Zealand-based Thai Point. Now, if you remain unconvinced about the vineyard of origin for the generic Marlboro Sauvignon Blanc from Costco, consider the eye test. In other words, take a long look at the logo on the Kirkland signature bottle of the white wine, then compare it to the logo on Thai Point's own Sauvignon Blanc. Does the plus sign and oval illustration being replicated on both bottles definitively prove Thai Point produces Kirkland's similar white wine? Maybe not, but we see no reason to dismiss the notion and, frankly, wholeheartedly accept that the name brand vineyard is behind Costco's popular Kirkland product. While numerous Kirkland signature items proudly wear the successful company producing it on its label, others only revealed themselves through less than ideal circumstances. This includes Townsend Farms, the company responsible for supplying the fruit for Kirkland Signature Three Berry Blend, a fact only confirmed after a recall was issued by the FDA in 2019. Now, while any FDA recall gives us pause, we were particularly shaken to see the 2019 Townsend Farms recall was due to a possible hepatitis A contamination. Unfortunately, this wasn't a new experience for the Berry brand. Frankly, this makes it tough to be particularly enthused about purchasing a generic bag of berries from Costco, even several years later. Well, what do we do with that information? What do you do with any information? You just stuff it deep down inside and keep an eye you on it. Everyone deserves a second chance, of course, but the disturbing nature of the Townsend Farms 2019 FDA recall haunts us. So while we never considered ditching Costco entirely, we can't say we'll reach for a bag of Kirkland or Townsend Farms Three Berry Blend anytime soon. While Kirkland signature batteries don't come right out and say they're manufactured by Duracell, Costco's CEO Craig Jelinek did, telling WSB-TV as much in 2016. Jelinek was somewhat forthcoming with the fact Duracell makes Kirkland batteries, but he was also quick to note Costco didn't advertise the batteries. It's just a brand. This allows the chain to control its overhead costs battery-wise, keeping the price low while concurrently increasing the profitability of each package of batteries. The idea is to create greater value for our members and they'll buy more. Frankly, it always helps to have batteries on hand at one's house. After all, you never know when you'll lose power. And with Kirkland Signature Batteries, you can ensure you'll have plenty of high-quality, long-lasting batteries if the need arises. Leaky batteries, rotisserie chicken, and bad diapers? Costco is all about convenience, but some of their Kirkland products don't really live up to their signature name. A splash of balsamic vinegar can top off a perfect caprese salad, add flavor to a veggie bowl, and even enhance fruit dishes. Not to mention, it's also a healthy addition to your favorite meals. Balsamic vinegar has been shown to help lower cholesterol, aid in digestion, improve blood circulation, and boost your skin's appearance. It's also a great diabetic-friendly salad dressing and condiment. Depending on how picky you are about brands, a bottle can pack a punch to your wallet, with some bottles going for as much as $95 for 100 milliliters. Enter Costco's Kirkland Signature Balsamic Vinegar. This popular box store find is just under $20 for a one liter bottle. Even if you don't find yourself reaching for a balsamic vinegar frequently with a shelf life of three to five years, this is a great investment you should have stocked in your kitchen pantry. Costco shoppers keen to score a deal already know about this unguarded secret. Kirkland's Ultra Clean Premium Laundry Detergent has been tested against major industry leaders like Tide and Persil, proving itself to be an affordable contender. Kirkland's signature Ultra Clean Free and Clear has also earned a very good rating for its ability to eliminate dirt, not to mention it is an excellent and affordable hypoallergenic option. This makes it a great choice for washing baby clothes or for anyone with sensitive skin. 
Kirkland's laundry detergents are sometimes as little as half the cost of a similar amount by competitors. Few Kirkland products have gained internet fame quite like the rotisserie chicken. Whether you're a Costco member or not, anyone in the loop has heard about the famously inexpensive birds. These whole rotisserie cooked chickens are just $4.99 at all times, no coupons or sales required. No way! Yes way! Apart from being a killer deal, the Kirkland Signature Rotisserie Chicken makes for a great weekday meal, snack, or entree. Don't mistake the cheap price to mean it is a cheap meal. The low cost is due to the company's loss leader strategy. Costco chooses to lose money on each rotisserie chicken purchase because it brings in customers who find other things to buy during their visit. Since 2019, Costco has sourced chickens from its own feed mill, hatchery, and plant in Nebraska. There, the company contracts nearby farmers to raise more than 100 million birds which are necessary to stock the store's shelves with a constant supply. Much like the brand's balsamic vinegar, Kirkland's signature extra virgin olive oil makes it easy to stock up on a pantry staple at a fraction of the price. Coming in at around $18 for a 2-liter bottle, this oil is a fraction of the price competitors are listing. Regardless of cost, there are a few aspects that experts recommend you look for in a bottle of olive oil. First, only buy extra virgin olive oil, which tends to be of higher quality with a more complex flavor. You'll also want to check for a harvest date and used by date to ensure freshness. Finally, pick a bottle that is opaque or made with dark glass to avoid light from passing through, which can impact the olive oil's flavor and aroma. Looking for a sweet topping for your favorite breakfast foods? Before you reach for a bottle of syrup, ask yourself what it really contains. Unless you've purchased one that's specifically labeled pure maple syrup, it's likely more sugar than natural syrup. But if you have a Costco membership, head to your nearest store for an affordable option that is far better than those packed with high fructose corn syrup. Kirkland Signature's organic maple syrup is 100% grade A amber and certified organic by the USDA. And at around $15 for a 1-liter bottle, it's a fraction of the price of comparable brands. Not only is this inexpensive syrup great for topping pancakes and waffles, but it can also be used to add natural sweetness to other dishes, like desserts or proteins. Much like gas, real estate, and airline tickets, the price of frozen berries is on the rise. The frozen fruit industry has seen a sharp increase in sales in recent years, topping close to $7 billion in 2021. If you're looking for your fruity fix but feeling the sting of inflation, Costco may have the answer. The Kirkland Signature brand offers a variety of frozen fruit options. One of its most popular options is the Three Berry Blend. This four-pound mixed bag includes strawberries, blueberries, and blackberries. Throw them into your favorite smoothie mix, a bowl of yogurt, or eat them on their own for a cool summer treat. Cashews are a quick, mess-free snack that come with tons of health benefits. They're rich in minerals like magnesium and zinc, packed with antioxidants, and can improve blood cholesterol levels and ultimately support healthy heart functioning. Unfortunately, like most nuts, cashews can cost a pretty penny. A 30-ounce tub of Target brand Good & Gather cashews will set you back around $17, while at Whole Foods, a 24-ounce bag of store brand cashews is about $15. But head to Costco and you'll undoubtedly get more bang for your buck. A 40-ounce container of Kirkland Signature Whole Fancy Cashews are less than 20 bucks. You won't run out of ways to savor these salty nuts. <laughs> okay, okay, real mature. Anyway, you can use them to make your own trail mix, top a smoothie bowl, or nosh on them solo. No matter how you choose to eat cashews, you'll spend less and have more to enjoy when you buy from Costco. Costco's great deals don't end at the door. If your local store features a gas station, you might want to consider filling your tank after you're finished loading up your trunk. These stations offer Kirkland Signature branded gasoline, and in some locations, you can fill up with diesel as well. Not only is Costco's gas often several cents cheaper than other stations in the immediate area, but the fuel also has a top-tier rating. This means that it goes beyond the minimum standards of additives mandated by the U.S. government. Costco is able to slash prices at the pump because you must have a membership to fill up. If you're already paying the annual fee, take advantage of this added perk to save at the pump, too. Many Kirkland products are carbon copies of name-brand items because they're actually made in the same factories. But this doesn't necessarily mean that the Kirkland version will always be of the same caliber as its competitors. Take Kirkland Signature batteries, for instance. They are actually produced by Duracell. I didn't know that. Despite being made by the familiar brand, Kirkland Signature batteries have been plagued with reports of poor performance and even leaks. 
However, when it comes to the duration of their charge, Kirkland batteries are more or less on par with Duracell, according to a study by Consumer Reports. Costco's own branded batteries were once a popular buy among shoppers. But following a recent price hike, a pack of 48 Kirkland Signature Alkaline AAA Plus batteries costs around $19. By contrast, a pack of 40 Duracell Copper Top Alkaline AAA batteries from Costco goes for about the same price. Given the reports of leakage with the former, it's worth spending the same amount for slightly fewer batteries. Much like batteries, you wouldn't be alone in assuming that Kirkland toilet paper is a budget-friendly buy. Although it has earned average scores for durability and softness, it won't necessarily save you money compared to popular toilet paper brands you can find in every other box store. A 36-roll pack of Kirkland Signature Ultra Soft Bath Tissue will cost you around $32. Scott Brand, by comparison, has been named the best budget toilet paper and cost about $27 for the same number of rolls. Plus, Scott advertises that its toilet tissue is lint-free and features 1,000 sheets per roll, compared to the Costco brand, which counts 425 sheets. If you tend to reach for more expensive brands like Charmin or Quilted Northern, you will save some cash by switching to Kirkland. However, other budget brands like Scott will help you save even more and can be found at most supermarkets and box stores. New parents are faced with a seemingly endless number of choices to make for their little ones, including selecting a diaper brand. Will it be disposable or reusable? Organic? A name brand like Huggies and Pampers? Or a more affordable store brand? With families spending around $1,000 in the first year on diapers their babies wear 24-7, it isn't an easy decision to make. Savvy parents looking for a deal on diapers will no doubt notice Kirkland's big box. But while these diapers advertise high performance for their price, they're around 30% less absorbent than popular competitor Huggies. While they are free from fragrances, lotions, and chlorine, some shoppers complain that Costco isn't forthcoming regarding which phthalates are in its diapers. Kirkland diapers are cheaper than some of the big brands at 20 to 30 cents per unit, but they aren't necessarily the best budget option. In comparison, Target's Up and Up brand diapers drop as low as just 13 cents per diaper. Those eager to get their morning caffeine fix without shelling out five bucks or more on a daily Starbucks run will no doubt see Costco's Kirkland Signature Ground Coffee as a great deal. A three-pound can of 100% Colombian sets you back around 20 bucks, and a two-and-a-half-pound bag of Kirkland Signature Medium Roast Coffee is about $15. Meanwhile, a bag of ground coffee from Starbucks, arguably the best store-bought coffee brand you can get, will cost you around $10 for less than a pound. The issue here isn't the cost savings. Instead, it's the flavor of the coffee by the time you reach the end of the bag. Unless you're brewing multiple pots of coffee a day, odds are that your grounds will be less than fresh long before you reach the bottom of the bag. This isn't to say that they'll make you sick, but you'll definitely notice that your coffee tastes a little off. Is this coffee? If you're looking to save money, opt for budget-friendly brands like Folgers that offer smaller containers. Often, budget brands use unconventional packaging to help shoppers save money. Take cereal, for instance. While the popular name brands house it in convenient boxes, budget brands opt for bags. Though they might be tougher to use and store, eliminating extra packaging helps to keep costs in check. Kirkland Signature took the same approach with its milk. The square jugs you'll find in the cooler at your local Costco are designed to be easier to pack and ship. But Costco shoppers have a lot to say about the square jugs that are both difficult to pour and easy to spill. While you might save a few bucks on your milk fix, ask yourself whether the savings are worth the waste of milk and time spent cleaning up spills. Some Kirkland Signature products are more divisive among shoppers than others. The brand's dishwasher detergent pods are one such item. While some shoppers tout them as a low-cost way to do the dishes, others have major issues with the product. The milder complaints note that the pods don't actually clean the dishes well and leave a funky, fake lemon chemical scent. The worst reviews say that the pods don't dissolve properly and leave a residue, which can damage your dishwasher over time. If you're already using Kirkland Signature dishwasher detergent pods and have also noticed that they aren't dissolving properly, there are a few ways to check whether the pods or your machine are to blame. For example, a blocked dispenser door, low water temperature, or a faulty spray arm could be causing the issue rather than your pods. However, if you rule out any faults with the appliance, it might be time to switch to a more effective product. Similar to the coffee, Costco's flower bags are one pantry staple that you're better off buying in a smaller size. Unless you're a baking aficionado, most of us keep flour tucked away in the pantry and only pull it out to make the occasional baked good. But keep it tucked away too long, and it could actually expire. 
flour's shelf life is between three and eight months depending on the type and how it is stored. Unlike coffee, which loses its flavor as it passes its expiration date, letting your flour go bad will lead to a musty smell and a sour taste. If flour isn't stored in an airtight container or happens to be exposed to moisture, it can develop mold, which could be dangerous if consumed. Unless you're a regular baker and fly through small bags of flour, leave that 25-pound bag of flour at the store. Unlike toilet paper, facial tissues are a bathroom staple that tends to vary by less than a dollar between popular name brands and budget bargains. A pack of 12 boxes of Kirkland Signature facial tissues is just around $20. Meanwhile, 12 boxes of Kleenex brand tissues are around the $25 mark. Although Costco's store brand tissues are slightly cheaper, you might find yourself disappointed by their quality. A Consumer Reports study of the best tissues on the market ranked Kirkland number 10, with several cheaper brands beating it out for quality and softness. Another drawback of Kirkland's facial tissues is that there's just one option available. Meanwhile, competitors like Puffs and Kleenex have a variety of lotion or aloe-infused tissues that give your nose some relief from the dryness and itchiness that often accompanies a cold. No matter how much time you spend at Costco, there are probably a few things you don't know about the popular Members Only Warehouse Club. On top of fake Tiffany rings and controversial food practices, the wholesale retailer also has plenty of skeletons in its closet. It seems like Costco carries everything under the sun, but there's one thing you definitely won't find in their stores. Genuine Tiffany diamond engagement rings. In 2016, the famed jewelry store won a lawsuit against Costco, arguing that the store intentionally infringed upon the Tiffany name by selling inferior diamond engagement rings labeled as Tiffany. Tiffany sent someone in, bought one of the rings, and they were not made by Tiffany. They are not Tiffany rings. They had nothing to do with Tiffany. Costco argued the term Tiffany refers to a commonly accepted setting for a diamond, but the jury wasn't having it. They awarded Tiffany over $13 million in damages. That didn't stop Costco from dazzling members with diamond engagement rings. They just rebranded them as the Audrey Collection. We see what you did there, Costco. Ever wonder why the beef jerky and batteries are always placed in a new aisle every time you go to Costco? Welcome to Costmart. I hope you'll take a trip by the deli counter today for a complimentary cube of jalapeno cheddar. I'm lactose intolerant. Where do you keep the cigarettes? This is a deliberate sales tactic Top Brass calls the treasure hunt. The search for your intended item leads you down a carefully orchestrated path, past clothing, seasonal items, and food samples. Don't wander far, I'm debuting a spicy ranch spread. The best way to avoid temptation? Make a shopping list and stick to it. In June 2015, video footage leaked online depicting the vile conditions at an egg factory farm that reportedly supplies eggs from caged hens to Costco. Lots of people got fired up, including celebrities like Bill Maher and Brad Pitt. Costco responded to the controversy with a renewed commitment to sourcing cage-free eggs, promising to work toward being completely cage-free. But their cage-free operations were met with some scrutiny. DXE's Open Rescue Network entered Costco's Certified Humane Cage-Free Egg Farm. And here's what we found. In October 2016, the New York Times reported that a video by animal rights group Direct Action Everywhere depicted chickens living in filthy conditions. The footage was criticized by the egg producer as, quote, being staged for production effect. Costco addressed the controversy in a statement. We have reinspected the barn and we are comfortable with the animal welfare aspects of the operation. According to a 2016 Global Powers of Retailing report, Costco is one of the top three retailers in the U.S. But there's no pleasing everyone, and the wholesale retailer has plenty of haters. According to Consumer Reports, a lot of members aren't crazy about Costco's selection. Plenty of choices. Just made my weekly run to Costco. Members also like to complain about the long checkout lines, the customer service, and the complete absence of fitting rooms. Plus, Costco doesn't offer any plastic bags or bags of any kind at the register. Instead, customers have to reuse cardboard boxes found near the checkout aisle. That can get frustrating for shoppers and employees who feel pressured to keep boxes at the ready. If you ever hear of a terrific deal at Costco but don't want to commit to paying the membership fee, try this. Kyle at Rather Be Shopping comprised a handy list of all the retailers who will price match Costco items. The list includes big names like Best Buy, Target, Walmart, and Lowe's, to name just a few. 
Home Depot will do you one better. They promise to beat the Costco price by 10%, provided it's the store's regular price and not a manager's special or liquidation. Sure, you're required to show a membership card at checkout, but there are plenty of ways to enjoy Costco's low prices without becoming a member. You got a swim shirt? The big jumbo coming? Four down, three over. Want to take a peek beyond those metal gates? Just walk right in. While those gatekeepers look like they want to check your card, they aren't very vigilant. Welcome to Costco. I love you. Welcome to Costco. I love you. Welcome to Costco. I love you. For all they know, you could be using the pharmacy, and prescription drugs must be made available to the public under federal law. In some states, it's illegal to require a membership for alcoholic beverages, so you don't have to be a member to nab the Kirkland vodka that famously tastes just like Grey Goose. While you're there, grab a hot dog from the snack bar. They don't check for membership either. And if you want to shop on your own time, ask a member to buy you a Costco cash card. Then you're free to go in and shop at the store as if you were a member. When it comes to Costco, should you wag you? Will their filet mignon turn you on? Or should you say goodbye to their ribeye? You normally eat A5 Wagyu in small amounts, simply because the intense marbling makes every bite super rich. But that doesn't mean you can't fork over the money to get a huge slab of the stuff. Costco, being the come here for huge amounts of stuff kind of place, offers an 11-pound Japanese Wagyu New York strip loin roast for anyone who needs serious beef in their life. One look at this chunk of meat tells you you're in for a fabulously rich steak dinner. While this slab of meat doesn't come cheap at nearly 80 bucks a pound, the majority of customers who ordered it were more than satisfied. It holds a nearly five-star rating on the Costco website, with customers saying things like, each bite does melt in your mouth, and the flavor is so intense and rich, and no regrets, completely satisfied. Whether you're a Wagyu connoisseur or someone who simply wants to have a mind-blowing meal, this might just be the beef play for you. Who doesn't want to think about delicious, savory beef tamales from Texas when they're hungry? Sadly, the Texas Tamale Company beef tamales at Costco aren't able to take the fun of the company name and translate it into a fun eating experience. As several customers point out in the reviews, the tamales are very small, which is always a bummer when you're expecting something that's going to fill you up properly, and you end up having to eat a dozen of them to fulfill your appetite. While that's definitely a downside, what makes it worse is the seasoned beef doesn't have a lot of flavor, so you're getting something really small and bland with each box. And at 550 milligrams of sodium for every two tamales, or 24% of your daily recommended amount, your blood pressure might not feel thrilled you're tossing back a bunch of these. If there's one cut of steak that could intimidate every other cut, it's the tomahawk. A tomahawk steak means business, and Costco offers Rastelli Market Fresh Tomahawk Steaks to all those looking for an aggressively meaty way to quell their appetites. These steaks are made using USDA Choice Black Angus Beef, so you know you're getting quality meat. There's a solid amount of marbling that runs through each steak, and that means all that flavor-packed fat is going to seep deep into the steak while it cooks to make each bite super tender. Each tomahawk steak runs anywhere from 38 to 42 ounces, so these things are huge. Tons of Costco shoppers who made this purchase were absolutely delighted, calling the quality of the meat superb and one person saying they were the best steaks we ever had. When you think of something made Mediterranean-style, you expect it to pack a lot of deep, robust flavors like a burst of lemon or parsley and cumin and black pepper. Well, don't let yourself be led down a path of disappointment with Costco's West End Cuisine Mediterranean-style grilled chicken skewers, because it's definitely easy to read the words Mediterranean-style and get excited. While some Costco shoppers applauded the convenience of the product, we found the lack of Mediterranean flavors frustrating. When you're standing in line at Costco ready to check out, you picture a near future where you bite into a succulent skewer of chicken that's erupting with a potpourri of tastes. But that's exactly what you don't get. Not only are the Mediterranean flavors barely noticeable, but there sure is one hefty smack of salt in each bite. Two skewers pack nearly a third of the daily recommended sodium intake, which makes these a hard pass. When a meal is able to balance a sweet profile alongside a savory one, your palate is going to feel grateful. So you should definitely seek out the fully cooked roasted duck with orange sauce. This is a fantastically balanced meal that hits all the right spots on your tongue. 
The ducks used here are white Pekin ducks. And not only are they humanely raised, according to Costco, but they adhere strictly to the Maple Leaf Farm's Trident Stewardship Duck Wellbeing Guidelines, so you know you won't ingest a boatload of hormones. The orange sauce is a thick, rich glaze full of sweet, citrusy flavors that pair well with the rich, juicy meat of the duck. The duck is fully cooked, and at 19 grams of protein per serving, you get a hearty and super tasty meal. The 7-pound duck is pricey at around $190, so maybe save this buy for a special occasion with a large group. Ribeye steaks are prized for their gray marbling, which makes them super juicy and packed full of explode-in-your-mouth juicy flavors after they come off the grill. But what's the answer when you're trying to avoid red meat but still crave a tender cut of ribeye? Costco has an answer for that question in the form of Rastelli's pork ribeye steaks, but it's definitely not an answer you should take to heart. We found that the juicy tenderness you think of when you picture a ribeye is lacking, hard. The Costco website states these pork ribeye are incredibly juicy and eager to please. If only that were true. While a straight-up beef meatball is awesome, sometimes you have to start mixing and matching different ingredients so you get a truly amazing meatball experience. This is the case with the Amy Lou Cranberry and Jalapeno Chicken Meatballs at Costco. The cranberry and jalapenos are distributed really well in each meatball so you never get one that's too sweet or too spicy. It's that triple threat of sweet, spicy, and meaty that really hits the palate right. The chicken used is raised without antibiotics, and with only 8 grams of fat per 4 meatballs, you won't have to feel guilty. As one Costco adds, a little goat cheese really puts these meatballs over the top. How do you make a plate of spaghetti better? Drop in a few meatballs. Costco offers their Kirkland Signature meatballs, but you're going to want to investigate some other meatball options before settling on these. You get 140 meatballs in a bag, so quantity definitely isn't an issue. It's the flavor and the nutritional facts that'll have you opting for something else. The meatballs are incredibly dense and salty, which almost makes it feel like you're biting into a round bouillon cube. The use of a sauce might help cut through some of the salty flavors, but you'll still know you're ingesting a lot of sodium. Plus, since they're small, the urge to eat a whole bunch is strong, and that means taking in a lot of saturated fat. Skip these and spend 20 minutes making your own meatballs. If you're in the mood for steak and want something that makes you feel a bit more fancy than normal, enjoying a filet mignon is certainly one way to do it. Filet mignons are little beefy medallions of goodness that are always recognizable by their round, petite shape. Well, if the time for feeling fancy is upon you, Costco sells packages of Kansas City Steak Company filet mignon steaks, and these are totally worth your appetite's time. Filet mignon is known for being incredibly tender, with an almost butter-like consistency. Keep in mind that it doesn't have anywhere near the kind of marbling you find in other cuts like ribeye or tomahawk, but that doesn't take away from these steaks at all. Every filet is aged up to 28 days for additional tenderness you can practically cut through with a fork. The overall rating for these steaks is a perfect 5 out of 5 star, so you know these medallions are ready to hit your stomach with some savory force. But wait, maybe Wagyu isn't always a must-buy after all. When you see a piece of A5-grade Japanese Wagyu fall into the don't buy category, questions begin to swirl. A5 Wagyu can do no wrong. Well, the A5 bacon-wrapped cubes at Costco managed to really screw up this version of the normally astounding meat. You don't normally see bad reviews on anything Wagyu, but customers certainly wanted to vent their frustrations this time around. One of the comments furiously states, The pieces of beef are so small that you have to remove the bacon or they would be so overcooked by the time the bacon was done, they would not be edible. Three of the pieces in the tray we cooked were nothing but gristle. Another wrote, The mystery cube meat was grizzled, chewy fat, and tendons. Nothing prime about this product. They are using any scraps left from the cow and marketing the product as cubes. Yikes all around. Don't make this your first A5 experience whatsoever. Lamb is one of those meats that tastes great, but a lot of people don't pencil it into their weekly eating schedules. Lamb has a gamier flavor than a lot of other varieties of meat, but that robustness is what makes it special. If you find yourself in need of some lamb in your life, Costco sells Rastelli grass-fed French lamb racks. The lamb meat comes from Australia, and the fact that they're Frenched makes them look extra fancy when you meticulously lay them on the plate. 
with reviews that sing praises like, at rare or medium rare, these racks lead to a new taste dimension. And the meat quality is what you'd expect at a fine dining restaurant. You can feel confident you're investing in great lamb meat. There are a ton of different ways to cook lamb, so snag yourself some of these French racks and explore the wonderful world of lamb. Bacon-wrapped goodies, revelatory flavor combinations, and some overly ambitious fillets, this is the best and worst of Costco's seafood offerings. If you've never bought salmon that was pre-packaged on a cedar plank, you're missing out. Cedar provides a unique smokiness that adds a wonderful layer of flavor. This is why the cedar plank salmon with hickory maple sauce at Costco is a great buy for anyone who loves a combination of sweet, savory, and smoky. It's also convenient that the plank is already prepped and ready to go. So the aroma from the cedar plank lends a nice layer of smokiness, but it's the hickory maple sauce that takes it to the next level. The glaze is thick but not overwhelming, while the sweetness of the mix balances out the savory fish flavor nicely. Kids might hesitate to take a bite of a salmon fillet, but they'll suddenly hop aboard the fish train if it arrives in stick form. Oh yeah, fish sticks are dope. Sadly, Trident Seafood's frozen Alaskan Pollock fish sticks are not so dope, as it turns out. Each bag comes with 60 uncooked and panko-breaded fish sticks. The picture on the bag makes it look as if the oven-baked result will have delicate golden brown casings with beautifully flaky interiors. But this is not the case whatsoever. The breading is way too thick, and you'll feel like you're munching on fried panko instead, while the fish on the inside is minimal and bland. If you've never tried it before, it might seem weird to combine shrimp and coconut flavors. If so, you're missing out, because coating shrimp in coconut and dropping it into the deep fryer is one of the tastiest ways to enjoy this succulent crustacean. And that's why the Aquastar Coconut Breaded Butterfly Shrimp at Costco is such a great investment. One of the biggest concerns when buying frozen fried food is how the breading does or doesn't hold up. But you don't have to worry about losing any crispiness in this case. So pop a tray of these golden brown suckers in the oven and then enjoy some delicious shrimp with the slightly sweet and nutty breaded coating. Whenever you buy fish that touts itself as sashimi quality, you expect it to be the highest grade of seafood you can get. Since sashimi is consumed raw, vendors need to make sure that every cut is truly okay for human consumption, lest they want to be hit with a lawsuit. But even though the Ace & Coho salmon fillets at Costco are stamped sashimi quality, you should still avoid them. After thawing, the texture of the fish falls apart into gnarly, rugged pieces. Simply put, that's never a texture you want in any kind of food, let alone a delicate fish. If you love seafood, it's hard to resist a good crab cake. When it's made properly with high-quality meat, few seafood dishes can rival its texture and flavor, and Rustelli Market Jumbo Lump Crab Cakes deliciously achieve that goal. These cakes are portioned in lumps of 4-ounce jumbo crab meat, so they certainly don't skimp on the juicy goodness. Too often, crab cakes are mostly made up of binders meant to keep a disappointingly skimpy amount of crab together. But thankfully, that's not the case here. Salmon burgers are normally a fantastic option if you want the ease of a handheld meal but don't want to consume red meat. Ideally, a salmon burger is packed with flavor but not overly fishy. It should also have a delicate texture similar to a lovingly prepared filet. Sadly though, the Trident Seafoods Alaskan Salmon Burgers don't live up to all those qualifications. These burgers aren't overly fishy, but they don't pack in nearly enough salmon flavor. Furthermore, the consistency is tough and gummy. Overall, you'd be better off portioning off some extra time and making your own salmon burgers at home. Sometimes you're in the mood for a burger, but you want more surf than turf on your plate. With that in mind, the Northwest Fish Alaskan Sockeye Salmon Cheddar Bacon Burger Patties are an excellent way to get some delicious fish in your diet while also lending subtle bacon flavor to a surf and turf experience. Each patty has a boatload of salmon, with a hint of Wisconsin cheddar and bacon for a nice triplet of flavor. The cheddar and bacon take a backseat to the salmon, as each patty wallops you with 37 grams of protein, too. And you don't have to limit these to lunch or dinner, as they make for a pleasing breakfast option as well. How could you say no to something called Boom Boom Shrimp? Sounds pretty good, right? That sounds great. 
It's such a fun name, and shrimp is just an all-around great seafood option. Sadly, the goofy moniker of this offering from Northern Chef doesn't result in a similarly enjoyable eating experience. The overly intense amount of breading is the biggest issue here. The bag states that each shrimp has just a light coating of batter. However, once you pop one of these in your mouth, you'll realize that that's not the case at all. With a name like Boom Boom, you'd think there'd be something truly unique about these shrimp, but that's simply not the case. Instead, it's just one big disappointment. Any seafood enthusiast who has a particularly fond interest in crustaceans knows that Dungeness crabs are some of the best out there. This variety is known for its tender meat and sweet flavor. One issue that can plague crab legs is their lack of meat, and that's exactly why the Northwest Fish Wild Dungeness crab sections are such a great buy. Simply put, it's a whole lot of succulent crustacean. Each pack comes with 10 pounds of crab legs that are fully cooked and ready to eat. And these are some seriously thick, hefty limbs. The meat is bursting with its characteristic sweetness and a subtle oceanic flavor. And Costco customers love it not only for its taste, but also for its ease of handling and generous portions. Scallops are kind of like the filet mignon of the ocean world. They sit on the plate as glorious, glistening medallions, and when cooked right, the texture is like butter. When you want a truly delicate and silky seafood meal, you opt for scallops. Alas, when it comes to the Kirkland Signature Raw Sea Scallops at Costco, it doesn't quite work out as it should. Scallops are meant to almost melt in your mouth, but with this Kirkland variety, you'll be confronted with rubbery medallions of disappointment. They have a frustrating texture, which also throws the flavor off, as they don't pack that delicate buttery taste that we all crave. They're simply not worth your money. The fuck? Octopus tentacles may not be the most enticing thing to look at. These sucker-filled extremities dangling off one of the oddest creatures in the ocean depths may not be everyone's idea of great food. But anyone who's explored the world of these eight-armed sea dwellers knows that their meat is deliciously delicate and chock full of gentle ocean flavor. That's why the El Rey del Pulpo octopus tentacles are a great find at Costco. Octopus tentacles can be cooked in a variety of ways, and as long as you follow the instructions, the result is tender meat that falls apart in your mouth. You can even literally cut it with a fork. Even better, these tentacles pack a huge amount of protein, barely any fat, and almost no carbs. When a freshly boiled lobster is plopped down in front of you, chances are that you know exactly which part you're most excited about – the tail. It houses the most meat, and few eating experiences rival the satisfaction of breaking through that bright red exoskeleton. This is exactly why so many customers have been let down by both the cold water and warm water lobster tails from Northwest Fish. When tackling a lobster tail, you expect something that's going to have a very satisfying amount of meat. But that's simply not the case here. And freshness, or lack thereof, is also a problem. As one customer review put it on Costco's website, these are horrible, smelled very fishy even when frozen, and they were not rotten. Tried to eat one and threw it away. How do you make most foods infinitely better? By wrapping them in everyone's favorite pork product. Mmm, bacon! <laughs> that's right, salt-cured pork adds an ultra-savory umami flavor that's simply irresistible. That's why if you love bacon and seafood, the Northwest Fish Bacon Wrapped Scallops need to find their way into your shopping cart immediately. These scallops are plump and buttery, which tastes especially pleasing with a strip of bacon wrapped around each one. As they cook, the bacon fat seeps into the meat, producing one astoundingly delectable bite. Not only are they delicious, they're also quite aesthetically pleasing. You gotta love food that's both delectable and easy on the eyes. Even people who enjoy a filet of oven-cooked salmon can give it a pass when it's been smoked. Smoked salmon can have a very intense salt-forward flavor that immediately turns plenty of people off. But if it's been properly cured and smoked, salmon will have a delicate texture that's slightly oily and just a bit salty. It shouldn't be so salty that you feel like you need several glasses of water. Ultimately, smoked salmon needs a carefully balanced flavor, and that's just not the case with Kirkland Signature Smoked Salmon. Each package comes with six servings of two slices each, meaning that one package should feed three people. But anyone who loves smoked salmon knows that it's not filling, so it's easy to toss back a whole package without even thinking about it. But with just over 600 milligrams of sodium per serving, going overboard could be quite detrimental to your blood pressure. Furthermore, the salmon doesn't have the right delicate, glistening texture you want. It's dry and falls apart when you try to remove a piece. 
For many seafood lovers, lobster reigns supreme. Its meat is sweet and slightly salty, and it has a juicy firmness that pleases the palate. If you don't feel like putting in the legwork to crack a whole lobster apart, you can always enjoy a creamy bowl of lobster bisque. And the Kirkland Signature Lobster Bisque is an absolute delight. A proper bisque shouldn't be too thin, but it also shouldn't be so thick that it's difficult to eat. Kirkland's has a wonderful silky texture that coats your mouth, but not in an obnoxiously intense way. The lobster flavor is super prevalent, and every sip makes you feel as if you're indulging in a super juicy chunk of lobster meat. It's so good, you might just believe you're enjoying a night out at an upscale seafood joint. That's fancy. That's fancy. Plenty of people have eaten tuna salad out of a can, but not as many people have had the pleasure of downing a gorgeously deep red tuna filet. And that's a shame. Ahi tuna, also known as yellowfin, is one of the most popular types of this particular fish to come in filet form, and it can taste absolutely wonderful when prepared correctly. At Costco, you can purchase a case of individually packaged ahi tuna steaks, but we recommend directing your attention elsewhere. No one wants to bite into something and feel a rush of salt on their palate. But that's a very real possibility with these fillets that are salty to the max. Reviews on Costco's website have noted that the tuna wasn't fresh and tasted as if it had been sitting around for too long to make it as a raw or cooked ingredient. If you're able, a much better option is to find a reputable fishmonger to help you discern if your seafood is actually fresh. Costco is a shopper's paradise for consumers who want anything from rotisserie chickens to four-foot-tall wine glasses. A big draw for Costco shoppers isn't even found inside the store, though. It's at the edge of the parking lot. We're talking about the Costco gas pumps and the superstore's typically lower-than-average gas prices. The company's gas stations are incredibly popular, but just how do they manage to sell their gas at a reported average of about 21 cents per gallon cheaper than competitors? And are there times when filling up at Costco maybe isn't the best option? For any doubters that Costco time and again is one of the cheapest places in the U.S. to buy gas, check out these facts. The Oil Price Information Service conducted a survey in 2017 and found that Costco regularly delivered cheaper gas than every major gas chain. In 2018, Costco dropped to second place, but only below regional food chain Food for Less and only by a fraction of a cent per gallon. Business Insider reported in 2019 that when it came to chains offering the cheapest gas in every state, Costco came out on top about 50% of the time. There are essentially two ways that Costco is beating the competition when it comes to the gas pump. First off, Costco customers are very loyal, and the company knows this and markets everything under its roof or in its parking lot with this mindset. Buying Costco gas, meat, socks, laptops, and all sorts of other products requires a membership, and people want to make the most of that membership, so they get their gas at Costco. On the flip side, those membership fees allow the company to offer goods and services at lower prices. It's a win-win. You don't have a membership? No. Oh my god. The second part of this strategy relies on the giant warehouse of goods beside the gas station. Customers who swing into Costco's parking lot to fill up on the cheap gas are also likely to go inside the store to spend more money, which also allows Costco to price their gas at less than the competition. It's similar to why they sell hot dogs for a buck, only the gas isn't priced so low that it becomes a loss leader. After all, oil prices tend to be a little more volatile than hot dogs. As for how Costco's cheap gas stacks up against the price of your Costco membership, this is where things can get a little dicey. A regular yearly membership at Costco will set you back $60, and you'll need to do a lot of driving if fuel is the only reason you want that Costco membership card. To come out on top, you would need to fill up at least 35 times during the year, otherwise you could lose money in the long run. That's not the only downside to joining Costco just for the gas, either. People regularly post their gripes about waiting in long lines for Costco gas on social media, and some lines have had wait times of up to an hour. The fact that they don't take cash may be confusing to newcomers and slow down those fill-up lines even more. Not everybody has a Costco right down the road from their house or work, either. So it's important to keep in mind that driving miles out of your way only to fill your tank with Costco's cheap gas may be counterproductive if you're eating up those fuel savings just to get to the pump. 
None of this is to say that joining Costco for the fuel savings isn't going to be worth it. If you plan on taking advantage of the many benefits inside the store, do a fair amount of driving, and don't mind sometimes waiting to buy gas, by all means, go for it. There are, of course, other ways to save on gas, and plenty of grocery chains around the United States offer various types of gas rewards programs. Experts say that Monday is the cheapest day of the week to buy gas because of the old rule of supply and demand going into effect on the days leading up to the weekend. Couple that knowledge with your local grocery store's gas rewards program and a cheap gas finding app like Gas Buddy, and you may just beat Costco at its own game. Excellent savings, free samples, giant containers of cheese balls. What's not to love about Costco? Well, your next trip to Costco might not be as simple as you hope. You might be doing all sorts of things that employees secretly despise. Hear us out on this. Costco operates on a paid membership policy. That means that once you pay your dues, you're granted access to the warehouse's deals at wholesale prices. They even check member cards at the door. If you think you'll get by on borrowing someone else's membership card, think again. Costco employees stand at the entrance to check cards, and each membership card has the card owner's name and photo printed on the back. If you do manage to slip inside, your cashier checks your card again before you make your purchase. One employee told Refinery29, At Costco in particular, employees have to be strict about confirming members' IDs, since their prices are based on a paid membership model. This often led to customers throwing fits, ranting at employees, and abandoning giant carts filled with hundreds of dollars of merchandise. One customer actually slapped me during an argument about the membership she was using. Don't make the employees' lives more difficult. Even without a membership, you can go to Costco with a friend who happens to be a member. Simple. Costco has a very generous 100% risk-free satisfaction guarantee. You can get your money back for your membership if you find it unsatisfactory. And you can return most merchandise without issue and for any reason. The lady returned a Christmas tree to Costco and uh, got a full refund for it. In an interview with Mental Floss, a Colorado-based employee opened up about one regularly returned item, couches. She said that, Members return couches that are over five years old, and interestingly enough, they still have the receipt. My guess is that they buy that couch with the intention of returning it someday, so they tape the receipt to the bottom of the couch so they don't lose it. Then when they've worn it out and want something new, they bring it back and get a full refund. If this has you scheming up some evil return plans, just know that Costco employees do take note of members who constantly return used items. Repeat offenders are at risk of having their memberships revoked. Costco can be pretty hectic, even on a weekday afternoon. The wholesale value makes Costco incredibly popular across the country, so it can get busy and crowded in the warehouse. Add a few mischievous children into the mix, and you have a recipe for disaster. Business Insider spoke to several anonymous Costco employees, and many of them could not understate the importance of keeping your kids in control while shopping. Kids are welcome at Costco, but try to keep them on their best behavior, eh? As busy as Costco gets, it takes just one instance of a child turning the corner too quickly to become a safety hazard. They could just run into other shoppers, carts, or the shelves. They could damage merchandise, but more importantly, they could hurt themselves or others. Of course, this rule should be upheld at every store, but Costco can be tempting even for the most well-behaved children. The setup practically dares kids to climb and goof around, which is exactly what employees don't want to happen. Even if you allow your kid to sit in the cart, keep a watchful eye on them. As one Costco employee put it, quit letting your kids jump around in the basket. It's dangerous. Costco has some impressive deals on large purchases, including major appliances and theoretically fancy furniture. Make your guests feel special when you entertain with the regal-looking Saratoga Formal Cushion Dining Set. But before you take advantage of some of those savings, make sure you have a way to transport your large item home. Bring a measuring tape or check the dimensions of your upcoming purchases online, then check the dimensions of the vehicle you plan to use to pick up the item. There's nothing worse than making your purchase, having Costco employees carry the item to your car, then finding out it won't fit. The employees then have to take it all the way back to the store, and then someone has to babysit your purchase while you figure out a game plan for getting it home. As one Costco employee in Ontario told Business Insider, check the size of your car before coming and the size of the product. Frankly, shoppers who don't plan ahead are one of Costco employees' major pet peeves. So even if you arrive at Costco with a moving truck, 
Be prepared to help employees move your items, or at least bring friends who can. One Costco employee revealed that, I've had members arrive with a U-Haul and purchase multiple pieces of furniture that they cannot help load. We are more than happy to help, but prefer you help too and not assume we are going to do the moving for you. Can you take several samples of that delicious treat they're handing out for free? Yes, you can. But should you? Probably not. It's rude to take all the samples, as you are leaving less for others. Oh, I've got two boys at home and go wild for this. Oh. Oh, who knows? One employee said she doesn't mind if shoppers take more than one sample, as long as it is accompanied with a thank you. But she does have limits. In a Reddit AMA, she said, Do not take more than two if it's a heated sample, more than four if it's cheese and crackers or something. It's especially heinous if a customer is mean while trying to take multiple samples. In the same Reddit thread, the employee said, There are some customers who get angry because we have to wait for the samples to cook, who do sort of act like savages. But for the most part, people are okay. All I wanted was a thank you. All in all, the guidelines on samples vary store by store. The sample employees aren't employees of Costco. But in general, take one sample and leave more for other shoppers. If you enjoy the sample, buy the product and enjoy more at home. The fact is, a lot of Costco employees really love their jobs. Welcome to Costco. I love you. Welcome to Costco. I love you. Welcome to Costco. I love you. But one of the worst parts of working at Costco is that many members can be demanding and rude. Costco stores are often busy, and employees do a lot of physical labor, from manning the forklifts to stocking shelves. In addition to being physically demanding, each shift can be mentally draining as well, especially when customers get testy. One employee in Utah told Business Insider, It's crazy how rude the American shopper is to people they don't know, who are helping them. One employee explained in a Reddit thread that, Dealing with disgruntled customers is mentally demanding. Even indirect actions like abandoning a shopping cart in the parking lot all add up to careless, rude treatment toward Costco employees who are simply there to help you. Costco doesn't offer discounts to employees or shoppers, and the chain doesn't accept manufacturer coupons or coupons offered by other retailers. Simply put, the value and savings afforded by buying items at wholesale costs outweighs the need for coupons from manufacturers. You'll still be getting a great deal without those coupons. Costco does offer its own coupons to members from time to time, which you might get via mail or email. If you do get a hold of a Costco coupon, be sure it's current before making the trip. Expired Costco coupons will just cause frustration at the register. According to an employee tell-all in Reader's Digest, we know you'd love to get an even better deal on the items in your cart, but we don't accept manufacturer's coupons and we won't negotiate for a lower price. If you want to save extra money, check our warehouse savings books. Have some friends who want to take full advantage of Costco's deals? Or maybe just want to see what all the hype is about? Luckily, this wholesale retailer generously allows members to bring non-members along on their shopping trip. But there's a limit to how many people a member can bring inside. Starting tomorrow, Costco is only going to allow two guests per membership. And there's only so much those guests can do once they're inside. According to Costco's membership privileges and conditions, members are welcome to bring their children and up to two guests into the warehouse. However, members are responsible for their children and guests. Children should not be left unattended. Only Costco members may purchase items. So feel free to bring two friends to help you carry and load larger items or just to accompany your shopping trip. Just know that if they find some items they'd like to buy, you'll have to foot the bill. Here's hoping your friends pay you back. Costco is a warehouse, so what you see is truly what you get. The entire store is what many grocery or other retail stores would consider the back. That means that the sale item you were looking for is probably sold out. Don't ask employees to check the back for more stock. There really is nothing hidden away or stockpiled elsewhere. Also, if you happen to see an item you want on the upper shelves closer to the ceiling, employees recommend returning another day when those items have been pulled down during stocking. They can't just get the item down for you that moment. As Reader's Digest explains, every now and then the items will be out of reach on the high pallets, but most stores won't bring the forklift out for just one item. Come back tomorrow, it will probably be restocked. The fact is, it's a safety issue to grab the forklift during busy hours. So there. 
Costco employees hate several things. Sweaty chickens under t-shirts, cart blockers, and screaming kids. Here's how to be an informed shopper even in the world's biggest pantry. Costco occasionally clears an old product off its shelves to make way for a new product. The company also stops selling items that no one wants to buy. Both of these are totally normal practices in the retail and grocery worlds, and they're usually initiated somewhere in the corporate side of the company. Yet, that doesn't stop customers from getting upset at employees on the sales floor because a favorite product disappeared. The customer's behavior can sometimes reach a very weird pitch. As described on a Reddit thread, one time a customer threatened to cancel their membership because the company no longer sold the coffee he wanted. Another time, during the beginning of the pandemic, someone asked if Costco no longer carried Kirkland products. As the other Redditors point out, none of the Costco employees are responsible for any of these products going away. And there goes Paget. She's skipping over the instant soups, ignoring the dairy, and she's heading to the employees only section in the back. So please, don't stop your local Costco employees and demand to know why the store no longer has this or that product. They most likely don't know. If you've gone into Costco to buy a few of your regular items, only to end up wandering the aisles wondering where the heck everything you needed went, you've encountered Costco's treasure hunt strategy. This is a deliberate reordering of the merchandise in an effort to make you look for it, and hopefully purchase a few new items on impulse that you found during your search. It's also the basis for a common Costco myth that the store is actually hiding items. They're not. The overnight merchandising team is coming in and just moving things around. Everything is in view, just in a different location. Unsurprisingly, this strategy has actually gotten some complaints from customers. In one Reddit thread, one customer complained that the dental items used to be in one place and later were unexpectedly scattered around the entire store. To make matters worse, when he asked an employee to see if the store had the items in stock, the employee couldn't give him a definitive answer. The locations in the store where the items could be found weren't available because the store's computer system didn't have aisle numbers listed. He said he ended up leaving empty-handed and called the treasure hunt tactic maddening. I didn't know we really carried these. These? You guys got everything in here. Yeah, we sure do. I mean, is it, is it working out for you? When you get to the cashier after navigating through the store, you face a choice. Either you take the items out of your cart and place them on the belt, or you leave everything in the cart but turn each item so that the barcode is facing up. Unfortunately, each store and each cashier has their own preference. If you're not sure what to do, Insider says to take items out of your cart and place them on the belt, minus the very heavy or bulky items. Keep those in the cart. A post in this Reddit thread confirms that taking items out and placing them on the belt helps helps cashiers scan everything. Leaving items in the cart increases the risk that the cashier won't see some of the smaller items and thus not ring them up. However, if you leave items in your cart instead of placing them on the belt, there's a good chance the cashier will be fine with it too. Just be sure the smaller items in your cart are very visible and are arranged so that the cashier can see everything easily. Workers who are limited to specific areas of the stores, such as the sample carts or the rotisserie chicken counter, are often a captive audience for customers who want to talk to someone. Whether the workers actually like it when customers try to chat depends on the customer's motive and attitude. Welcome to Costco. I love you. Welcome to Costco. I love you. This was discussed in a few Reddit threads, such as this one, where a sample worker says they hate forced small talk, but like it when customers genuinely want to talk with them. Another sample worker even said that conversation was welcome, and the customer letting the sample worker complain was even more welcome. One employee in the rotisserie chicken section, however, did express annoyance at the repeated question of when the next batch would be ready, as well as questions about preparing items from other departments, such as how to sous vide a roast. Despite those irritations, the employees said that they actually really like it when people stop by to talk, calling the rotisserie section one of the roughest in the store. Their one request was that you not block the case with your cart. That employee's request that customers not block the chicken case with their carts is not an isolated employee wish. Apparently, carts blocking cases, aisles, other customers, and just about everything else in the store is a major pet peeve of employees. On one hand, it's kind of hard to not block something with the carts because those Costco carts are huge. The flatbed carts aren't much easier to deal with. In 2021, a woman in Florida filed suit against Costco after being hit with a flatbed cart that 
that a customer could not control due to its size. On the other hand, a lot of the problem stems from customers' behavior. Costco employees venting on Reddit mention people stopping to talk to their friends with both carts blocking an aisle is problematic because it blocks the entire pathway. Some customers really have a warped sense of how to treat the physical store around them, according to employees. When Insider interviewed Costco employees about bad shopper habits, one complaint was that people would constantly leave trash in their carts. Costco employees on Reddit added to the complaint by noting how the overnight merchandising crew would have to clean up cups and plastic utensils that were randomly placed around the shelves by customers who finished up a sample or two. They noted that Costco consistently has trash cans in each aisle, and they really want you to place all your trash in those cans. Complaints aren't limited to having to pick up litter. In one Reddit thread, Costco employees recounted times when they found perishable items placed randomly around the store, rather than back in the refrigerators or freezers. One found a roast on top of clothing. Another found popsicles melting over boxes of crackers. The practice is so annoying to employees that one poster actually wished employees could punch people who did this. As more than one comment put it, if you don't want something, hand it to a cashier to put it back for you instead of leaving the item in random places around the store. The chances that an employee will find the item before it melts or goes bad are basically zero. Costco memberships and membership cards are for specific people, not families. A common mistake people make is giving their card to someone else to use or grabbing a spouse's card and attempting to use that instead of their own card. While Costco employees have told Insider that it's not always possible to stop everyone at the entrance and see their card, a few say they put their foot down and do not let anyone in unless they have their own membership card or are a guest of a member. Can't anyone get one of those cards? No, I don't think so. But I can uh, talk to someone if you like. A problem that pops up all too often for workers involves customers' kids. When insiders spoke with Costco employees about what they wanted to tell customers, the employees had a few complaints and warnings about children. One begged customers to get their kids to stop screaming. Another wanted customers to stop assuming employees would look out for the kids. And a third warned that letting kids jump around in the carts was dangerous. But not all of the advice stems from exasperation. One Costco sample a sample worker who created a Reddit AMA reminded other posters that any child who is able to see the samples on the table can take them, no questions asked. This means that customers need to educate their kids about any food allergies they have so that the kids don't gulp down food that could make them ill. According to a few Redditors, getting hired at Costco takes a little more footwork because thousands of people apply online. Your application isn't lost, of course, but a manager at a busy warehouse likely wouldn't be able to wade through every single application. Instead, the job landing advice leans toward a few different tactics. One is to apply online and give a physical copy of your resume to a manager or supervisor at the warehouse where you want to work. A Redditor who claimed to be in management advised applying online every every month and emphasizing any retail experience, as well as speaking to a manager if you're able to. A lot of Redditors noted that Costco has two main hiring seasons, one around September and October for temporary holiday help, and another in April for permanent positions. Retail and food service are not seen as a career choice by many, and that's understandable. Most of us have at least one summer retail or food service nightmare story in our pasts. Yet at Costco, you'll find employees who do consider Costco to be their preferred employer. They like what they do, or they like the atmosphere overall, and they want to stay. One Refinery29 writer who used to work at Costco wrote in 2016 that she actually liked working at Costco. And should she once again need to find a job, she'd go back immediately. The writer pointed out that the job that makes someone happy isn't going to look the same for everyone, and mentioned that she even knew a manager who had started there in a job that would normally be short-term. And that's actually not uncommon. Costco has a policy of trying to hire from within, helping employees move up the ranks instead of bringing in higher-ups from outside the company. In an interview with The Motley Fool, Costco founder Jim Sinegal said that when the company wants to hire a store manager, they deliberately hire only those who have been with Costco for years. Costco has a devoted following, and with good reason. But you don't want your next trip to Costco to be ruined by one of these myths, do you? Buckle up and get your notepad ready. It's Mythbusters time. 
Costco's checkout procedure can be overwhelming when you have several heavy items packed into your cart, and a common claim is you shouldn't take anything out of the cart for the cashier. However, according to Insider, this is mostly a myth. Just like you would at any regular grocery store, you should take items out and place them on the belt. The one exception is anything large or very heavy. That, to both you and your cashier's relief, can stay in the cart. Unfortunately, this policy isn't always enforced, which, as one Costco worker explains, makes work way more difficult for cashiers when customers won't place items on the belt. Costco's own customer service website calls its return policy a risk-free 100% satisfaction guarantee, and the store is notorious for accepting some very odd returns. A thread on Reddit went into detail on just how weird some of Costco's returns were. Pardon me, but I didn't know we really carried these. These? You guys got everything in here. The details included people returning a mattress with urine stains, a 10-year-old boombox, and even a 13-year-old frozen fish. While these are just anecdotes, there are enough to show that Costco's return policy is extremely generous. In practice, it certainly looks like you can return anything and everything. However, Costco itself is clear that there are some items that must be returned sooner than others, and some items that can't even be returned at all. For example, most electronic returns must be received within 90 days of the date the customer originally received the item. Diamonds over one carat can be returned if the customer provides the gemology paperwork for the diamond, and the item will go through an additional check by a gemologist. As for items that can't be returned at all, cigarettes and alcohol were prohibited by law, and custom products made to order for the customer. For example, in California, you typically can't return alcohol unless it was deemed unfit for consumption, is spoiled, or was not supposed to be purchased, according to Total Wine. During the COVID pandemic, the laws in these states were relaxed, but the prohibitions on alcohol returns have since been reinstated. Showing your receipt to someone on the way out of a store isn't unusual. Most stores practice this policy to keep an eye out for customers walking out with products that aren't on their receipt. Costco uses their exit greeters a little differently than other stores, though. According to Costco's customer service site, those employees are there and marking your receipts to ensure that you were charged properly and not overcharged. The explanation also mentions that it's a way to maintain a, quote, accuracy in inventory control, which is vague enough to be interpreted as looking for shoplifting. However, the general manager of a San Francisco Costco location told SFGate that shoplifting wasn't really a problem. As the article mentions, it's kind of hard to sneak a 75-inch TV out of the store. A thread on Reddit also confirmed that while the exit greeters occasionally catch items that weren't paid for, a lot of the checks are made to ensure the prices are correct and that you have everything that you paid for. As one Redditor wrote, the receipt checkers also look for things like gift cards or anything that you have to pick up at a location other than the cashier's lane. Keep in mind that, according to Costco Insider, if you buy a membership at Costco, you're agreeing to unconditional consent regarding searches. Unfortunately, people unaware of this agreement have refused to show receipts at the door. And that does allow Costco to revoke your membership, according to Oregon Live. That is your receipt for your husband. Thank you. This used to be somewhat true, but as of 2020, unfortunately, it's become a Costco myth. You used to be able to eat at Costco food courts regardless of whether you had a membership or not, something that was especially easy to do when the food court was located outside. However, Costco started requiring proof of membership to eat at any of their food courts, inside or out, in March 2020. The Instagram account Costco Deals first broke the news in February 2020 with a picture of a sign warning customers that they would need a membership to eat at the food court starting on March 16, 2020. Fox Business News confirmed this with Costco and was told by their customer service department that the company already required membership to eat at the food court. They just hadn't enforced it because so many courts were outside. Both Fox Business News and the Los Angeles Times reported mixed reactions from Costco members on social media. Responses ranged from sadness that a low-cost source of food was being taken away from non-members to glee at the anticipated shorter lines. The Los Angeles Times pointed out that non-members would still be able to purchase alcohol and medications. Costco's non-grocery departments often allow non-members to make use of those services, making it seem like anything outside the food areas is open to anyone. Many of the services that non-members can access are medical or health-related, including getting prescriptions filled and, before the COVID-19 pandemic, attending free health screenings. Sir, I can fix those glasses. Can? Go here, fix those suckers! <laughs> 
If you are a non-member, you can get your eyes checked by an optometrist at a Costco location, but the one service you can't access without a membership is buying glasses and contacts. For that, you need to be a member. You can't even purchase contacts through the company's website without a membership, even though the company normally lets non-members use their online store with a surcharge tacked onto those purchases. So why the difference if you can purchase other things like prescriptions without a membership? According to All About Vision, the optometrists you see are independent rather than Costco employees. You pay them and not Costco for the exam, so you don't need a membership. However, Costco owns the optical centers, making the frames and lenses Costco products that require a membership for purchase. It is true that if a price tag has an asterisk, the product is on its way out. But this Costco secret is often discussed as if the appearance of an asterisk alone is the final warning, and that's not exactly the case. The asterisk indicates the product is in one of two stages of being discontinued. So how do you really tell if an item is on its way out? Check the price. It's the price of the item that truly shows if the product is about to leave stores. In an Instagram reel, Las Vegas real estate agent Greg Chin shows that the last digit of the price is the clue. You want to know a secret about Costco? He says that if the price tag has an asterisk and ends with an 8, the product is in the first markdown stage. A tag with an asterisk and a price ending with a 7 means the product is at its lowest price and that Costco is taking a loss just to move the product off its shelves. It's a good idea to keep an eye on how the pricing works even if you think you know all the secrets, though. The Sun says that a Costco spokesperson not only previously confirmed that pricing is meant to move inventory along, but they also said that the whole process can change over time. When asked for further clarification, the spokesperson declined to give the Sun more information. When you buy in bulk, you typically pay more upfront for products that end up costing less per unit than they would if you bought them in smaller quantities. Over time, you save money that way, because you spend less per unit. While that's true, it's not always helpful for everyone. If individual shoppers aren't splitting the bulk buys with others or using everything they buy, then this normally money-saving tactic is a real loser and a myth. When you buy too much of an item and can't use it all, you lose the money you spent on the items you have to discard. Then you have to buy more later on and the cycle repeats itself. CNBC says to avoid buying perishable foods at Costco for this reason, and also because some of these foods are available for similar prices at grocery stores. One example CNBC uses is eggs, which are often available for maybe one cent more at a grocery store in more reasonable quantities. If you think you can avoid this problem by buying only shelf-stable goods, think again. Sapling says buying items like cereal in bulk can lead to waste because the amount of cereal is so great, it could go stale before you can finish it. That makes it harder to make up for the price of the membership, too. If you've ever made a meal out of the free food samples at Costco, the idea of not being able to get unlimited free samples doesn't sound right, does it? Sorry to burst your bubble, but it's true. While the vendors handing out samples are allowed to give out as many free samples as customers want, and according to CBS News, Costco encourages it, there's one group of people who can't get any samples, for a very smart reason. Children who are not tall enough to see the foods being handed out are not allowed to get samples on their own. The reason, according to a former sample vendor who spoke with Mental Floss, is that the people working the sample stations don't want to aggravate food allergies or sensitivities. Jim, the former vendor, said the rule is not official, but the risk is a real concern. He noted that if the child is unaccompanied but can see the samples, they'll let the child take them, because most kids with food restrictions are aware of what they can't have. If a kid is shorter and can't see what's on the table, the chances that the child is too young to understand what they're eating are greater. He said they use the height of the child to decide because it's difficult to judge the age of many children. This is another one of those myths that is based on a true event. The idea that Costco employees hide products so that customers have to search through the store to find them. The key word here is hide. According to Paige Saunders, an employee at a Canadian Costco location, products really are moved around, but they're not hidden. This is kind of half true, kind of not true. She discussed the problem in a YouTube video posted in 2020, saying the company has merchandising teams that go into Costco locations overnight and move products around as a corporate strategy. So the products are in plain sight, just in a different part of the store. Saunders expressed frustration at the policy because the teams don't warn the retail employees ahead of time, so even the employees have trouble finding items they saw the day before. 
Costco puts a less frustrated spin on the practice, calling it a treasure hunt atmosphere. In the company's eyes, it's a way for customers to discover new products each time they come to the warehouse to shop, similar to how regular grocery stores rearrange their entire layout to get people to spot new products as they wander the aisles. Snopes, a fact-checking website, investigated claims in March 2022 that Costco would stop selling their beloved rotisserie chickens. The culprit? A fake advertisement. The advert claimed Costco would stop selling 24 specific items with the picture of Costco's rotisserie chickens. When clicked on, the ad led to an article claiming that Costco would stop selling either 24 or 21 items with no mention of the rotisserie chickens in the picture in the ad. Snopes was unable to find anything about Costco discontinuing their chickens because, as the website noted, the company never made the claim to begin with. The rotisserie chickens obviously aren't sold online, but you can bet that if the company did stop selling the rotisserie chickens, the news would be everywhere, not just in one online advertisement. Forbes did report in April 2022 that Costco's chicken operations in Nebraska were hit by bird flu and thus at risk. However, the article noted that losses were not that big, and so far there have been no hints that anything might disrupt the company's ability to continue selling the chickens. This is probably one of the most widespread myths about Costco. The $1.50 hot dog and drink combo is not increasing in price. And if former Costco CEO and founder Jim Senegal has anything to say about it, which he has, you will not see this price go up. What started this outcry, according to Verify This, was a viral tweet from a Twitter account calling itself Breaking 911, but actually using the handle John W. Rich Kid. In other words, it wasn't the actual Breaking 911 news account. However, that didn't stop several verified Twitter accounts from retweeting the news. Even the House GOP Twitter account quote tweeted it and blamed Bidenflation for the beloved hot dog combo's price raise. However, the rumor is just a rumor. The $1.50 hot dog deal is not increasing in price, and as Costco CEO Craig Jelinek told 425 Business in 2018, the cost will never go up, lest Senegal kill him. As the story goes, Jelinek told Senegal that the low price of the combo was not sustainable, and Senegal responded with an order to Jelinek to figure out a way to not raise the price. This is when, according to Jelinek, Senegal said, if you raise the effing hot dog, I will kill you. Can anybody tell me what's wrong with this picture? Jelinek noted that the $1.50 price is so closely linked to Costco that it's become a mindset. His solution was to have Costco build its own hot dog processing plant and to use those hot dogs for the combo instead of the previous non-house brand. Though COVID has influenced Costco's new food rules, the Superstore chain has long had some strict guidelines, both for employees and customers. From the do's and don'ts of the kitchen to who's allowed to eat at the food court, consider this your unofficial guide to the rules regarding Costco's food. Thinking about applying for a job in Costco's food court, bakery, or meat department? Well, if you're a fan of painted nails, you might want to consider another position, because a trip to the nail salon is going to be wasted money. Nail polish is a no-no for food workers. The primary reason for this isn't that Costco is trying to stifle style, but because of the potential for nail polish to chip and end up in food. That seems like a pretty reasonable argument. Nothing ruins a bite of pizza like looking down and seeing a chip of red nail polish laying on top of a pepperoni. The same goes for acrylic nails. A Costco food safety manual details that employees must have, quote, trimmed and short fingernails and that no jewelry of any kind can be worn. Not even a watch is allowed. Other departments within Costco likely aren't as strict about employee appearance. Several Costco employees said they got away with sporting facial piercings, but this seemed to depend on how lenient the general manager was. I never knew the beauty of Costco. And one day I woke up and I had like an epiphany and I was just like, let's go to Costco. Nobody wants to eat food that's been touched by dirty hands. It can lead to food poisoning and is just overall gross. It's standard practice for employers to require employees to wash their hands before handling food. Costco, however, takes things a step further and has strict protocol in place when it comes to keeping hands clean. The chain expects its food suppliers have hand-washing sinks strategically placed so that food prep employees can wash their hands the second they enter the building and proceed to their workstation with minimal risk of germ infiltration. Those hand-washing stations should also be completely hands-free, of course, for extra safety. As far as clean hands are concerned, hand-washing is only the first step.
step. If Costco hands are going to be touching any sort of ready-to-eat product, a few squirts of soap simply isn't good enough. Employees are to wear gloves and abide by Costco's written glove policy. The retail chain requires employees to wear either single-use latex-free or reusable gloves, and any reusable gloves must be clean and sanitized before starting a shift or coming back from break. According to an NPR article, Costco sells about 60 million rotisserie chickens each year. Even though the chickens are a loss leader, they're invaluable because most people who buy them are going to venture deeper into the store and make other purchases. The chickens taste great straight out of the bag, and you're pretty much guaranteed to get a fresh one every time. So what is the secret of these chickens? Well, it's a larger chicken than you're going to find in other stores, and then the price. Yep, just like everything else food-related under the Costco roof, there are certain chicken rules that must be followed. One employee told Business Insider, Our famous rotisserie chickens are not allowed to be sold after two hours of sitting in the warmer. Any chickens that aren't sold within the two-hour time frame are turned into soup. The employees who handle those rotisserie chickens can also be seen wearing aprons, gloves, hair nets, hats, and beard nets if they have facial hair. With the $5 chickens being such a big part of Costco's food strategy, it's understandable why they take rotisserie chicken safety seriously. Walk into any Costco bakery and you'll see rows of breads, pastries, and cakes all ready to be sold. So what happens to all that food that doesn't make it off the shelves? Foods, such as baked goods, are often donated to food pantries. Some produce products even find their way into city zoos or various animal sanctuaries. One Costco employee said the food court is incredibly strict about throwing away food. Even before a customer touches it, the employee explained, Let's say a member asks for a slice of cheese pizza. We place that piece onto a plate with tongs, of course, then place the plate onto the counter. If the member says, oh darn, I've changed my mind, I'd rather have pepperoni pizza, then we have to toss the pizza that they didn't want into the trash. The customer doesn't even have to touch the plate. We're not faulting Costco here. Gambling with food safety isn't worth the risk. It's that sort of customer indecisiveness that contributes to food waste, though. So choose wisely. Costco's food court is a serious moneymaker. According to CNN, those hot dogs and popular rotisserie chickens that shoppers love to buy help the food court pull in nearly $1 billion annually for Costco. Considering that the food court is a money-making machine, it's only natural that Costco would be serious about its food court safety. Some Costco employees believe that the chain uses the food court as a testing ground for new employees to see if they have what it takes. One employee said, If you start in a food department, especially food court, bakery, deli, etc., it is hard to get out as none of these departments are remotely easy to work in and they will be less likely to move you out if you are a good worker. Another employee said that newbies either start out pushing carts or food court, but hang in there, pass your 90 days, and reap the benefits. Look for job postings in the break room. I went food court to cashier to membership in a year and a half. Like every grocery store in the United States and much of the world, the COVID-19 pandemic threw Costco for a loop. All of a sudden, normal operations came to a halt and a whole new set of rules had to be put into place. This was especially apparent when it came to food and drink. At the end of March 2020, Costco temporarily did away with its food sample servers out of concern regarding virus transmission. Having potentially hundreds of customers a day grabbing free pretzel bites understandably seemed too risky. According to the Chicago Sun-Times, when Costco did finally bring back the popular free food samples in June 2020, obviously there were some new rules in place. Rather than offer food items like freshly made meatballs, the free samples would only be packaged items, kept behind a protective plexiglass shield. It might not have been the free food extravaganza that Costco shoppers were used to, but the president of Costco's club demonstration services said it was necessary to make sure we are taking the right steps to engage members safely. One of the telltale signs that we had entered a new normal in the early months of the pandemic was the absence of certain grocery items in stores. First, it was toilet paper, then foods like bread and even yeast. It wasn't just panic buying that impacted grocery stores like Costco, but the production of those foods and products. Meat processing plants slowed production in the early months of the pandemic, and this led to fewer items finding their way to grocery shelves. Costco shoppers who entered stores in May 2020 were met with new rules that limited the amount of meat they could buy. Where pre-pandemic, a shopper could stock up on a month's worth of beef, shoppers could now only purchase three products of beef, pork, or poultry at a time. There were also rules about what Costco shoppers could bring into the store. A Costco regular said a manager told them they couldn't walk around the store with the iced mocha they'd purchased from the outdoor food court. Another shopper informed them that the policy was most likely put in place to reduce the risk of transmission from shoppers constantly removing their face masks to nosh on snacks. Yes, mochas are delicious, but not worth the risk of spreading COVID. 
Costco may have a lot of rules in place regarding how its food is prepared, sold, and even consumed in the store, but when it comes to food returns, it's almost anything goes. Or at least it used to be. The chain's lax return policy has become somewhat of a Costco trademark, and this has led to people returning all sorts of food products that most grocery stores would not. The craziest items that people have returned to Costco have been well documented and include everything from liquefied watermelon to frozen fish that was over a decade old. But in December 2020, Costco put its foot down regarding certain items that people had hoarded and now wanted to return. Among non-food items like toilet paper and Lysol, Costco was no longer accepting returns on water or rice. As for the current company rules on returning a garbage bag of liquefied watermelon, just please don't. The whole point of Costco's rules regarding food, of course, is to avoid selling its customers contaminated products. A food poisoning scandal can cost a company millions in lawsuits and lost profits due to customer distrust. Even with the strict protocol Costco has in place for its employees and vendors, a few food poisoning episodes have slipped through the cracks. For example, in 2011, at least 20 people fell ill after eating bad cantaloupe, and many of those folks bought the fruit from Costco, reported the New York Times. While the fruit was traced back to a farm in Guatemala owned by produce giant Del Monte, the incident no doubt led to concerned Costco shoppers skipping over the melons on subsequent shopping trips. Then, in 2018, Costco was hit with a lawsuit by a woman who claimed some bad chicken salad she had purchased led to E. coli poisoning and ultimately led to her requiring a kidney transplant. Costco and the woman eventually reached an undisclosed agreement. Avoiding this sort of thing and the financial fallout that can follow, though, is exactly why Costco means business when it comes to food safety rules.